Time for the third last fit on the track program for this evening, the women's 200 metres T36 final. With the gold medalist from the Paralympics last year, Shi Yiting of China. In lane eight, the lady who was fourth in the 2014 Asian Para Games, Wong Shayan. Yanina Andrea Martinez of Argentina goes in lane seven. Fourth at last year's Paralympics, bronze back in 2015 in Doha. Min Jae Yong of Korea. She goes from lane six. She was silver in 2016 of the Paras. There's your reigning Paralympic champion, Ye Shi Ting of China. Personal best set at the Rio Games. Yan Kwok Ban of Hong Kong. Bronze of the 2014 Asian Para Games for her. Enkina of Ukraine, 23 year old, her first major championships. And in lane two, Yu Chun Lai, the third of the Hong Kong athletes competing in this race. Her best of bronze over 2000. 2002, she also picked up bronze in Lille. World and Championship record held by Wang Fang of China. Well, they've been asked to stand up. This, of course, the coordination impairment category. Just give us a quick explanation, Vanessa. They have an impairment of all four limbs, so they have a hard time in standing still throughout the start. Usually it comes also with an intellectual impairment, therefore the, the unusual situation here is confusing for some of the athletes. Well, the Paralympic champion goes from five, who you can see standing there in the red, Xi Yeting. This time they get away with no problems and she does get away very well indeed. She's already up just about into the lead as they go through the first 50 metres. She is powering away as Xi Yiting of China just on her outside. It is the Argentine of Yanina Andrea Martinez who's in the silver medal position. And then on her inside, it's Korea's John Min Jae. But coming down to take the gold medal without any doubt whatsoever, it is Xi Yiting. In a championship record time of 28.92, it's the Argentine Martinez who picks up the silver medal. And then it is on the inside of her, Jean Minge of Korea, who picks up the bronze. But that was quite a run from Xi Yiting, the Paralympic champion. She might be exhausted, she might be tired, but she's just got herself a new championship record, which has stood for the last 15 years. Quite an athlete indeed, now owns the Paralympic and World Championship medals in this race of the women's 200 metres T36. Well, it took them a while to settle at the beginning. They were asked to stand up, the green card was given. But she, the only athlete who stood there with the rest going to her blocks, Outstanding start, outstanding bend, Vanessa, an outstanding victory. It almost looks like she's running a time trial, no real competition in this, this run, so remarkable gold medal, remarkable athlete. Yeah, that record set at the World Championships 15 years ago in the Stad Metropole in Lille and was exactly a second slower than the world record also from one fine set in Athens at the Paralympics in 2004. If anybody's going to break it in this generation, you imagine it has to be Xi Yiting. Well, that's Xi running the bend. On the left there, you see Jiang, who picked up the bronze medal. A distance back. But you can see the coordination impairment of the limbs there, so 
it does become a lot more difficult for these athletes. But there's no doubting that lady there, her class, her capabilities. Another goal for China. We've made a run over the last 24 to 36 hours up near the top of the medal table. Just so much distance in front, Vanessa, as they come into the bend. Especially with their shortened up muscle strings from their disabilities, so they have a hard time stretching out over the last couple of meters. The, the more tired they get and the, the more tight they get, so. Well, there's the championship record. I just wonder how far it could go if she had a bit of competition up there at the front. She your team with a championship record. Takes the gold. You need Andrea Martinez with the silver for Argentina. And Jean Minjay takes the bronze.